Tandem Stance Press. Okay, Tandem Stance is one heel in front of the toe. Okay, so it's on a line. That's your Tandem Stance. Okay. What you want to make sure when you're doing Tandem Stance is that your heels aren't kicked out and you're trying to cheat it. Okay, you want to be in that Tandem Stance. My weight is shifted more, a little bit more towards the back but overall they're fairly even. My weight's fairly even over that position. And you might find when you're pressing that you really have to be over um, both feet to do this. But this is gonna challenge your balance, okay? So if my right leg is forward, I'm gonna press on my left side. If my left uh, leg is forward, I'm gonna press on my right side, okay? And so what you wanna do is you're gonna, you're gonna start with a little bit lighter kettlebell in terms of your presses but you can get pretty challenged on this and it's such an awesome exercise for pressing. So what do you want to do is to set up, I'm gonna bring that kettlebell or dumbbell, whatever you're pressing into that rack position. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna find your tandem stance. So my left leg is forward, my right leg, um, my right leg is back, my, I'm pressing from my right hand, okay? All right, so I'm gonna find my balance position. I'm gonna create some stability. and you're just gonna press from the allotted, uh, the prescribed reps. And you switch sides, you're gonna do the same thing here. Find your tandem stance first. In that rack position, good. Now, I would recommend doing your tandem stance presses without cushy shoes. Cushy shoes are like cushy shoes are like clouds on your feet. They're also way more in, um, there's way more instability. So having a minimalist style shoe, or I would even say barefoot is the best. Socks, that's fine as well. But that is your tandem stance press.